Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel and this is one of my dog's Gus. We're gonna be doing a nice full body flow for flexibility today. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today over in tabletop. So you can come onto your hands and knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Maybe rock your hips side to side a few times. Just kind of get a feel for your mat, the ground beneath you. And then you can start to take a nice big inhale and drop your belly. Lift your chest, maybe lift your chin. As you exhale, round your spine. Give your tummy a squeeze. Push into your palms and bring your chin towards your collarbone. Inhale deeply, drop your belly again. Lift your chest, maybe your chin. Exhale, round the spine, squeeze your tummy in. One more big breath in, drop your belly, arch your back. And then exhale as you round it out. Push into your palms, open up those shoulder blades. Inhale as you find your way back to a nice flat back. Tuck your toes, take a big inhale. Exhale into downward facing dog. Just here for a moment to start to breathe a little bit deeper. If you want to pedal your feet a few times or push into your palms a little bit more. Let your head be nice and heavy. Feel the love through your arms, through your shoulders. Maybe you have to lift your heels a little bit higher today to get into your shoulders more. Take one more nice big breath in and out. And then use an inhale, start to look forwards. Exhale, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. With an inhale, take a half lift. Really lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forwards. Bend your knees, pause in your forward fold. Your arms can dangle. Or your hands might rest on the back of your calves, or the back of your legs. Maybe a little rock side to side with the hips. Maybe a little rock forwards and back. Feels good. And maybe just stillness feels better. You and your breath, your forward fold, letting your head be nice and heavy. Letting your shoulders fall towards your ears. If you are holding on to your legs in any way, just let your arms dangle down again. Take in a, taking an inhale, we're going to roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Maybe your head can be the last thing to reach the top. Find your way all the way up to standing. Tadasana, mountain pose. Roll your shoulders back and down. Spread your fingertips wide. With a big inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Take your left foot back into a lunge. The option to lower your knee or keep it lifted. We're going to twist so your left hand can stay down. Turn your chest to the right as you inhale. Maybe reach up, maybe look up. One more breath in. Exhale, come out of your twist. Plant your right hand. Take an inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Your right foot's going to come back into your lunge. Maybe drop your knee. Maybe not. Setting up our twist with our right hand down. Inhales, you turn your chest towards the left. Option to reach up. Option to look up or look down or somewhere in between. One more inhale. Exhale, find your way back out of your twist. Take an inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, bring your foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. We're gonna step all the way back into downward facing dog. Walking your feet together. With an inhale, start to lift your right foot up nice and high. As you exhale, send your foot forwards between your hands. 
in your lunge again option to lower your knee option to keep your knee lifted but we're gonna rise we're gonna lift our chest we're gonna lift our hands off of the floor so bend into that front knee whether you're resting your back knee or not bend your front knee get into those hips a lot of love through that left hip flexor hopefully relax your shoulders you can start to bring your hands together in front of your heart you can stay here or you can bring your left elbow towards your right knee take another twist chest to the right gaze to the right or maybe up a little bit more beautiful you guys use an inhale bring your chest forwards again and lift it a little more exhale lower your hands down take an inhale look forwards exhale bring your back foot to the top of your mat inhale half lift exhale fold plant your hands find your downward facing dog bringing your feet together and inhale is going to lift the left foot up exhale is going to bring that foot forwards set up your lunge drop your knee if you want to drop your knee start to lift slowly adjust as you need bend your front knee a little more try to find that right hip flexor maybe getting slightly warmer <laughs> soften your shoulders maybe the hands come together in front of your heart stay with your chest shining forwards or bring your right elbow towards your left knee and twist beautiful you guys <sighs> take another breath here and then let an inhale bring your chest forwards lift it up again exhale plant your hands inhale look forwards a little more exhale bring your back foot to the top of your mat inhale half lift exhale fold planting your hands stepping back downward facing dog push into your palms take a nice big inhale exhale lower your knees down to your mat into your tabletop just walk your hands further away keep your hips high and melt your chest down puppy dog maybe rest your forehead maybe rest your chest but just soften your shoulders <sighs> slow down your breath Awesome job, you guys. With an inhale, slowly lift. Lift your chest. Walk your hands back under your shoulders. Cross your ankles. Have a seat. So we're going to find a wide straddle. You can bring both of your legs out nice and wide. Point your toes up towards the ceiling, maybe just a little rock of your shoulders, maybe no rock at all, but feeling the love through the inner legs. And you can add a little tip forwards if you'd like. You might even close your eyes and just enjoy a few breath here. Maybe you need to widen your legs a little bit more. Maybe you found that sweet spot. Maybe it's not too hard to find. Awesome job, you guys. If you're folding forward, just use an inhale to lift your upper body all the way back up. We're going to take our right hand. We're going to keep our legs as they are. Your right hand's going to find your low backs, your palms facing away. And if you feel the love for your shoulder, you can stay there with your hand on your low back. Or maybe you can slide your forearm further behind you and interlace your fingers. We're going to add a little tip over towards the left side. So you could hold your hand, hold your right hand with the left, or you can just place your left hand in front of your leg somewhere to lift the chest, maybe even shift the gaze up a little bit. Feeling the love through the legs and that right arm and shoulder, maybe even into the side body. With your arm behind you, your hand behind you, just let it slide out and start to reach up. And lean over a little bit more to start to feel more of a side stretch. Maybe your forearm can rest down on your mat. Maybe you need to point your toes up towards the ceiling again. And reach and stretch. 
Let a nice big inhale bring you back up. Finding center, a little rock, shake it out a little bit. Maybe even take a nice tip forwards, adjust your legs if you need to. And then finding your way back up, your left hand can rest on your low back or maybe your full forearm comes behind your back and then just kind of start to tip over towards the right side. Look up, keep the chest open. Breathe. Keep pointing your toes up. Notice how this side feels compared to the other side. And just slowly letting your hand or your arm slide out. Reach up, lean over a little bit more. Maybe point your toes up again. Keep your chest open, just reach, lengthen that side body so good. Beautiful, you guys. Let a nice big inhale bring you up through center. If you want to take one more tip forwards, go for it. Maybe you're able to come a little further. Maybe not. You can point your toes up towards the ceiling. And then with an inhale, slowly lift. Bring your hands to the outside of your legs and help them come back together. Give, it, give your knees a hug, a little rock, side to side. And then just finding a nice, comfy, seated position. Ah, place your hands on your knees or in your lap. Lengthen your spine and close your eyes. Letting your chin start to fall down towards your collarbone. Feeling the length through the back of the neck, maybe down the spine. But mostly just let your breath start to slow down a little bit more. Maybe you can put just a bit of effort into taking some nice, slow, deep inhales. Nice, slow, deep exhales. Allowing your eyes to stay closed. Use an inhale, lift your chin just to a neutral place. Maybe lengthen your spine a little bit more and just let your chin kind of turn over towards your right shoulder. Bringing it back through center and over to the left. And letting your chin come back through your center one last time. Awesome work, you guys. You can bring your hands together in front of your heart if you'd like. Thank you so much for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.